This is a text editor that will help you spin content uh, by making suggestions for words, putting the spin tax straight in for you. And once you've got the article with all the spin tax in it, you can hit a button and generate as many copies as you like, each one being uniquely spun accordingly. For those of you that don't know what spin tax is, there is a description of it currently right there on the screen. And spin tax is uh, often spelt one of two ways, either S-P-I-N-T-A-X or S-P-Y-N-T-A-X. Uh, both appear to be correct and widely used. So the idea is quite simple. In here, you can use this like any text editor. Now you can either write a fresh piece of content or you can uh, load up an existing document and then you can move around the document and you can choose words which you would like to spin. So if I take the word common, pressing this button will give me a bunch of suggestions for other words that could be used in place of the word common. And so if I wanted it now, I'm, a lot of these ones in, in this context won't always be suitable. I'm just going to pick for this uh, example, I'm just going to pick a few and then hit the button to use them. You'll notice that there's uh, shortcuts for these, so you don't even have to touch the mouse when you're typing. You can just hit the control keys to uh, shortcut this. When you uh, drop them in, it will replace the word that you had highlighted with the original word plus the spin taxed out versions uh, that you have selected down here. Uh, all the normal keyboard shortcuts that you get inside Notepad and things like that apply. So if you want to undo something, Control Z will undo it. And let me show you something else here. Up on the options, there's an option to auto look up. And if I put that on and now highlight a word, I don't have to press Control G. It just automatically will bring up the suggestions for me down here. The spin tax part of the editor is intelligent, so if we select a word and let it find the words and then we choose which words we like, you'll notice this word was spelt with a lowercase c because it's midway through a sentence. So when I drop the words in, they too will be left with a lowercase first letter. If that word had an uppercase letter, so it, either it was beginning of a sentence or was just part of a headline and uh, obviously quite often in headlines you capitalize every single word now when we uh, select whichever words we want to put in it will put them with an uppercase letter as well so it does have some intelligence as to how it uh, operates the big difference with this uh, as opposed to uh, other ones that are out there and indeed the very first one that I wrote, I wrote a product called Spin Master uh, about two years ago now and Spin Master had a, a bunch of limitations which we've improved upon. One of the things we got asked for which we've managed to get into this version is a way of editing the synonyms and that is we've got a complete synonym editor right on board in the software. So if we just go into the editor, we'll see all of the words in our dictionary down this side of the screen. And if you want to select one, double click on it, and it will select the word and bring up any synonyms it has for that word on this side. If there's a word that you want to get rid of in a dictionary, just select it, hit the delete word button. It will ask you to confirm that you want to delete it and then it will take it out of the database. Uh, any synonyms that are connected to that word will also be removed. Uh, if you want to f look up a particular word, then just type it in here and hit the Find button, and it will find it and bring up all the synonyms here. And again, if there's a synonym you don't want for a particular word, hitting the Delete Synonym button will take it out. And if there's a word that you do want, but you just want to change it, so in here, for example, I've got the word regular twice, so I might want to uh, edit that and replace it with another word um, or phrase like that. 
You can also add synonyms to the list. And the same with words. We can add words. If you want to add a word, uh, uh, it doesn't work like the add synonym. When you hit add synonym, it pops up a pop-up. Uh, for adding words, you just put the word that you want to add up here. So if I wanted to put my name in there, just type in my name, hit add word. And in that case, that word's already in the database. So uh, it doesn't have any synonyms. If we remove it, go now let's add it there we go select it and then I can start adding synonyms for it in here so that's it really that is the synonym editor very powerful uh, you've got a find feature so you can uh, look words up hit clear at any time to get the entire database double click on any word brings up the synonyms for it that's it just take you through some of the other little features that are inside here uh, useful things like uh, you can press F4 or go to options and choose preview and it will preview a spun version of the document you're working on. So if I hit F4 now, you'll notice that this here is going to change, it's going to select one of these and so on. And there we go. And it's a toggle, so F4 takes me back, F4 again will give me a different spun version. So if you just want to very quickly make sure that it's generating versions that make sense, then that's a good way of doing it. Once you have your article written with all its uh, spinning in place, uh, the final thing you're probably going to want to do is to generate copies of that spun document and in different variations. And this can do that for you. And obviously this can also be used if you've got documents that have come with this sort of spin tax format in them already. Uh, you can just load them straight in here and use this feature down the bottom. It asks us for a folder. So I've got an output folder on here for demonstration purposes. Asks us for a title. and how many versions that we want to create. And you can create as many as you like. And obviously you have to be sensible. If you've only put in a few possible variations like we've done here, uh, then putting 100 in that box isn't really going to do very much. It's going to produce a lot of articles that are the same. Uh, it can't produce any more variations than you've got possibilities. I'm going to say 10 in this case. We already know that just for this sentence alone here, there are... Uh, eight variations plus we've got a couple of other variations up here now we'll do these at random but it will try and be intelligent it will uh, try and avoid producing the same one over and over it does do some checking back through uh, doesn't completely eradicate it uh, because we didn't want to slow it down obviously if you ask for a hundred versions of something and it can't produce a hundred it runs out uh, we didn't want it sat there continually trying if it wasn't possible. Uh, so there is some uh, sort of artificial intelligence built in, um, but it is still possible to get some duplication. So I'm going to say 10, hit the generate button. Words away, generates me 10 different versions. And if I want to look at those, just go to where I put them. And here they are. I'm going to just load these up into... I'm going to load a couple up into Notepad and just drag them over so you can see. So there's uh, one variation. Here's another one. So as we can see, it's picked the same thing there for the word. But this one, it says this short paragraph, it says this line of text. So that is really it. Um, very, very simple to use. You've got all the uh, normal sort of text editor features, copy and pasting, finding and replacing, uh, a spell checker, which you can configure, and uh, you can download additional dictionaries online. Now, the only thing I will say is if you are in a completely different language, if your country is a completely different language to English, then you can go and get a different spelling, different dictionary, uh, but the synonym database that we supply is only an English database. If you want something different, you would have to create your own. 
Uh, and that's it. Uh, it is a powerful tool which anyone into article marketing or blogging uh, or anything like that is going to find a useful addition to their toolbox. Uh, this is software for Microsoft Windows. It has also been tested on a virtual machine on an Apple Macintosh machine, but obviously it will not run natively on an Apple Mac. You would need to run a Windows virtual machine.